Welcome to Science Easy Tech channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about paditis example sums. This video is taken from Unit 7 Nursing Research and Statistics for BSc Nursing Students. But this video is most useful for MSc Nursing Students because at MSc Nursing level, you will be given uh, problems in essay question with regard to pad t test or unpad t test so mostly they will be asking pad t test for but for bsc level i have posted theory part that is student t test if you have not watched that video i have given the link in description box suggested end card and i card very rarely only they will be asking questions uh, problem related sums in bsc level for t test but uh, for msc level pakka they will be asking a pad t test in essay question before moving on to the topic, if you are new to Science Easy Tech channel, just take a moment to subscribe our channel and also to press the notification bell icon in order to get connected with our latest updates. Let's move on to the question. So this question they have given in um, university question paper uh, posted by Dr. MGR Medical University, Tamil Nadu. So the question what they have asked is, Pain score before and after the intervention on joint pain has been given. Test whether the intervention has a significant effect to reduce the joint pain. The level of significance already they have given that is 0 0.05 that is 5% level of significance. 5% level of significance means 5 divided by 100 is 0 0.05. So the table value already they have given that is 2.26. Why they have given the table value means because you are not allowed uh, to refer the table value. You cannot carry your book or you cannot carry your mobiles in the exam center so they have given this uh, priorly as a hint for you so what is your only duty you to you have to found out the um, calculated t value so then they have given the um, question but you should know whether you have this is pad t test or unpad t test so how you will be finding out whether it is a pad t test or unpad t test so they will be giving some clues so here it is for the same group so that is one clue and pre-test post-test level or before and after intervention or before and after your teaching program so like that means it is pad t test so you are going to compare the results for one group so uh, this is a clue for you. What is the clue? Before and after the intervention. Before test, after test or pre-test and post-test. So this is the clue. So in question as I have told earlier, they will not give whether it is pad t test or unpad t test by reading the statement and by seeing the clues what has been given in the statement or question you have to identify whether it is a pad or unpad t test so what is the clue here before and after the intervention okay so sometimes they will be giving pre-test scores and post-test scores like that so for the same group for only one group you are comparing the pre-test and post-test values or before intervention values and after intervention values so let's see the before uh, values and after values so the before uh, pain score values before the intervention it is 9 8 6 7 8 7 9 6 10 7 the after the intervention what is the pain score value is 4 3 3 4 2 2 3 1 5 3 so by seeing this values itself you can tell that the intervention is effective in reduction of pain but we have to prove it prove it statistically so we can use a pad t test so let's see the formula for pad t test so from the given test we came to know that it is pad t test so we have to calculate the pad t test so the formula for calculation of pad t test is t is equal to d bar divided by standard deviation of difference divided by n so what is this d is difference between the uh, pre-test and post-test values and you have to find out standard deviation for that difference and divided by square root of n n is nothing but the total sample size here how many samples or values they have given it is 10 samples okay here it is small samples that is 10 when it is more than 30 you are you have to apply large sample formulas okay so here uh, t is equal to d bar divided by sd sd means standard deviation for the difference and divided by square root of n so you can take this n uh, as i have shown in the second formula so or t is equal to 
d bar divided by standard deviation of n into square root of n so you can use either this formula or that formula both you will be getting the same answer only okay the second formula is the simplification of the first formula next you have to formulate the hypothesis so h not h not means null hypothesis h1 means alternative hypothesis or research hypothesis so h not there is no significant difference in reduction of pain before and after the intervention h1 there is a significant difference in reduction of joint pain um, before and after the intervention so you have to the first step is you have to formulate the hypothesis which you have to test it so next we can we can uh, put the values in the tabular column so x values we have to put a 9 8 6 7 8 7 9 6 10 7 y values we have to put a 4 3 3 4 2 2 3 1 5 3 next difference we have to find out the difference between x and y okay so what is the difference between x and y so x minus y you have to take into consideration what is the difference between 9 and 4 is 5 8 minus 3 that is also 5 6 minus 3 is 3 7 minus 4 is 3 8 minus 2 is 6 7 minus 2 is 5 9 minus 3 is 6, 6 minus 1 is 5, 10 minus 5 is 5, 7 minus 3 is 4. So, now you have find d, d is nothing but the difference between the x values and y values. So, now you have find out the difference values. Then what you have to do? You have to add all the d values. 5 plus 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 6 plus 5 plus 6 plus 5 plus 5 plus 4. So, when you are adding all the D values, you will be getting sigma D which is 47. What is sigma D is equal to 47. So, sigma D you have found out. What is sigma D? Summation of D. Add all the D values. You will be getting summation of D or sigma D. When you are adding all the values, you got 47. Next, uh, you have to found out D bar. How you will be founding out D bar? Yes. N value, how much I have told? 10 sample. So, N is 10. What is D bar? D bar, the formula that is average like X bar, you are telling no sigma X divided by N that is mean average d bar is equal to sigma d divided by n what is sigma d yes sigma d is 47 so 47 divided by 10 what is 47 divided by 10 is equal to d bar is equal to 4.7 now you got d bar value now you have to subtract d value from d bar what is d bar 4.7 5 minus 4.7 is 0 0.3. 5 minus 4.7 is 0 0.3. 3 minus 4.7 is minus 1.7. 3 minus 4.7 is minus 1.7. 6 minus 4.7 is 1.3. 5 minus 4.7 is 0 0.3. 6 minus 4.7 is 1.3. 5 minus 4.7 is 0 0.3. 5 minus 4.7 is 0 0.3. 4 minus 4.7 is minus 0 0.7. So, now what you have found out D minus D bar. So, next what you have to found out? Yes, D minus D bar whole square. 0 0.3 into 0 0.3, 0 0.09. Same thing only for first and two. Minus 1.7 into minus 1.7. Minus into minus becomes what? Plus. So, plus 2.89. 1.3 1.3 1.3 into 1.3 1.69. 0.3 into 0 0.3 0.09. 1.3 into 1.3 1.69. 0.3 into 0 0.3 0.09. 0.3 into 0 0.3 0.09. Minus 0.7 into minus minus 0 0.7 plus 0 0.49 so now you have got all the d minus d bar 
value the whole square values next step what you have to do you have to add everything 0 0.09 plus 0 0.09 plus 2.89 plus 2.89 1.69 plus 0 0.09 plus 1.69 plus 0 0.09 plus 0 0.09 plus 0 0.49 plus 0 0.49 add everything so when you are adding everything you will be getting the answer 10.1 what is this 10.1 sigma d minus d bar whole square so that value d minus d bar whole square value is what yes it is 10.1 so now what you have to do you have to find out the standard deviation what is the formula for standard deviation since it is small sample that is n is less than 30 n is 10 only now so you have to use this formula square root of standard deviation for sample formula you have to use not for population standard deviation for sample what is the formula square root of sigma d minus d bar whole square divided by n minus 1 so when you are taking the square root 10 minus 1 uh, sorry 10.1 so what is sigma d minus d bar whole square it is 10.1 so this is 10.1 divided by 9 square root of 10.1 divided by 9 so 10.1 divided by 9 is equal to 1.122 so square root of 1.122 so in msc level you will be allowed to use scientific calculators so when you are founding uh, the standard deviation so you can take the square root of 1.122 using the scientific calculator or sometimes the basic calculators which has square root in it. So you will be getting the answer 1.059. So you have got standard deviation for difference value. Then what you have to do? You have to calculate the T test. What is the formula for T test? Yes, T is equal to D bar divided by standard deviation of difference into square root of N. So, what is D bar? Yes, D bar is 4.7. What is uh, sigma D minus D bar square? Yes, it is 1. Uh, what is the standard deviation? It is 1.059 so what you have to put 4.7 divided by 1.059 into square root of 10 so when you are founding out the square root of 10 you will be getting the answer as 3.16 4.7 divided by 1.059 into 3.16 so then what you have to do you have to multiply 4.7 into 3.16 you will be getting the answer 14.852 divided by 1.059 so when you are dividing 14.852 divided by 1.059 the value what you are going to get is the t calculated value which is 14.022 so now you already they have given a t table value 2.26 so but when you are going to do for your thesis and all no you should find out no so you should know how to found out the table t value so for that purpose i have given so for that purpose first you have to found out degree of freedom so find out the degree of freedom by means of the formula n minus 1 df for t test it is n minus 1 what is n here yes n is 10 10 minus 1 is 9 so at 9 a table value of t at 9 at 5 percent level of significance 0 0.05 level of significance is 2.26 so let's see with the table 
okay so you can have a t table values at the end of any statistics books you can take xerox or even in phone in google images also you can see uh, t test values for one tail two tail like that and all for unpaired t test paired t test then um, f test chi square test z test so many values uh, they will be giving up so you can uh, compare your results with that so what is the degree of freedom i told 10 minus 1 how much 9 so at 9 degrees of freedom see at 9 degree of freedom at what per level of significance 5 percent level of significance you have 20 percent 10 percent 5 percent uh, 2 percent 1 percent 0 0.1 percent like that and all so what here i am telling i am telling here 5% level of significance already in the question also they have given 5% level of significance mostly we used to see at 5% level of significance that is 0 0.05 see at 9 the value is 2.262 2.262 so they also have given 2.26 no so 2.262 so in this way you have to find out the table t value okay so next so the table t value is 2.26 what is the calculated t value yes 14.022 14.02 so the calculated t value is greater than table t value that is 14.02 is more than or less than yes it is greater than 2.26 so since the calculated t value is greater than the table value we are rejecting null hypothesis and we are accepting research hypothesis or alternate hypothesis so since calculated t value is greater than the table t value you are rejecting what you are rejecting the null hypothesis what is the null hypothesis there is no significant difference in the reduction of pain level before and after the intervention so that you are rejecting it and what you are accepting alternate hypothesis what is h1 there is a significant difference in reduction of pain level before and after the intervention okay so finally you have to write conclusion conclusion is very very important so we can conclude that the intervention had a significant or has a significant effect in reducing the joint pain so this conclusion also carries marks so you have to give a conclusion so the intervention is very very effective in reducing the joint pain statistically also we have proved it hope this video is clear for you all if you like my video please give a thumbs up share and subscribe to science easy tech channel especially for msc nursing students you can watch this video and if you still have any doubts you can post your doubts in comment session thank you friends keep supporting to science easy tech channel my previous videos link i have given in description box suggested end card and i card you can watch our channel playlist for more nursing related videos as well as we are posting videos for 10th plus 1 and plus 2 also you can watch it thank you friends